its wartime in the wizarding world. As dark clouds began to gather, there's widespread fear and doubt amongst the students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Everyone seems frozen with indecision. When suddenly, one person steps up. Hermione Granger takes the lead and inspires her fellow students to come together and form a secret club dedicated to defending themselves against the coming war with Voldemort. If you couldn't tell, this is a scene from Harry Potter. I'm an avid reader, and I've read Harry Potter more times than I can count. One thing that always stood out to me was the role that Hermione played. In the first book, she's on track to become a pretty good student with great grades. However, she chooses to become something more. She sees the chance to influence something greater than herself and grabs the opportunity with both hands or at least with one hand and one wand. Now that's a change maker. Someone who sees a need, steps up, proposes a plan, and catalyzes the community to take action. So why be a change maker? I've already got so much on my plate, do I really need to pile on another task? Another checkbox on my to-do list? No thank you. I'll have to come up with ideas see if those ideas work, test out even more ideas, why bother at all? There are so many people already out there fighting the battle, why can't I just come on in with my pom-poms and say yippee and cheer them on? Why? When I can just enjoy the after party. So that brings me back to the question, why be a change maker at all? Well, it's not change for the sake of change, mind you. You shouldn't be like, um, okay, I need to change something. Aha, uh -huh, there's something I can change. Let me just change that. I'm done. I've been a change maker. Change is rooted in purpose. The Amazon rainforest is on fire. We still have a deadly virus rampaging our world. Our planet is quite literally dying. There's misinformation everywhere you look. Violence in communities and guns in schools. And already, there's too many people who are satisfied with our current status quo. To put that into perspective, in just our last election, 80 million Americans did not vote. So there's plenty of purpose to go around. I find my purpose to be bringing the joy of reading and the discovery of new possibilities to the world around me. I've loved reading for all my life. And I think sharing the benefits it brings with the world is a thrilling prospect. Opening minds to new perspectives? Now that sounds pretty exciting. I eventually settled on the medium of video book reviews on a YouTube channel for my change-making journey. I love reading. I typically read over 15 books a month, and I often reread my favorite books over and over again. To put that into perspective, I've read the entire Harry Potter series over 40 times at this point. Because I'm so deeply passionate about reading, creating these book reviews on my channel doesn't feel like a chore. It's something that I genuinely look forward to at the end of every week. Being a change maker is, well, a challenging task. But if you're struggling to begin, just remember that you're not alone. I struggled as well. I understood how important being a change maker was, and I understood the benefits I could bring to myself, people around me, and my community at large. I just had a couple <laughs> hiccups while getting started. My first efforts involved starting a tutoring program, but close to nine and a half minutes in, I get distracted by a recent book on my mind. Will Frodo in The Lord of the Rings succumb to the influence of the One Ring? Will the blue-eyed Fremen in the book Dune overthrow their tyrant ruler on the wild desert planet of Arrakis? Later efforts included an online blog about serious societal issues, which devolved into a discussion on Fahrenheit 451 backstory, writing plays about inequality in today's world, which ended up having way too many Hunger Games references, and interviewing school officials for the newspaper, which 
didn't get past my first interview with the librarian, which ended with me at the library reading books for the rest of the day. And then it hit me. The problem was the solution all along. Reading books wasn't something hindering me at all. In fact, it could be the tool and the very foundation for my change making. But what I learned at the end of all this is that ultimately, you should stick to your passion and let it lead you to your purpose. Your passion might not be reading, like me. It could be something else entirely, like swimming or programming. But no matter what it is, Remember, it's something you can use to help bring change to your community. Greta Thunberg is passionate about the environment and climate change. At the age of 15, she protested outside the Swedish parliament. And today, she's giving speeches to world leaders at the UN. Now, that's a pretty big and large-scale example. And I'm not telling you to end world hunger, or solve world peace. But even the smallest steps can make the biggest difference. Be the Hermione. Just as her one action catalyzed great change in her community, yours can too. Thank you. <laughs>